Let us do some examples with applications of derivatives. Now the question here is, find numbers a, b and c such that the graph of the function f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c will have x intercepts at 0, 0 and 5, 0 and a tangent with slope 1 when x equals to 2. So what we are given here is a function which is f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c and what we need to find is value of a, b and c and we are given three conditions so these three conditions should give us three equations and using those three equations we should be in a position to find out these three numbers so the conditions are x intercept at 0, 0 so let's write down x intercepts at 0, 0 and the second x intercept is at 5, 0. So these are two conditions and the third one is tangent with slope of 1 when x equals to 2. That means the derivative of the function f dash x at x equals to 2 is equal to 1. So that is given to us. Now from these three conditions we should get three equations. So let's get them one by one. Using x intercept at 0, 0, we get f of 0 is equal to, substituting 0 in the equation, we get a times, let me write 0, plus b times 0 plus c, right? Now we are given this point as 0, 0, so y value is 0, so we get 0 equals to c. So that means we get the value of c from the first equation, right? So that is our equation number 1. Now actually I should write this as my equation number one to start with and this will be my equation number two. Now we'll use value of c in our equation, right? Now let's put the x-intercept 5, 0 in our equation and see what do we get. 5 is the value of x and 0 is f of 5, right? So we have f of 5 equals to a times 5 squared plus b times 5 plus c, I'm writing 0 for c for the time being, right? Now f of 5 is 0, so we get 0 equals to 25a plus 5b. So that is next equation. So actually what we can do is, I'll take this equation on the right side to solve it further. So what I will do is, I'll kind of simplify this equation. We got 0 equals to 25a plus b. Dividing by 5, what do we get? we get 5a plus b equals to 0, right? So let me write this equation as 5a plus b equals to 0. So we divide by 5. Now the third condition given to us is f dash 2 is equals to 3. f dash 2 equals to 1. Let me first make this equation number as 3. Okay, let's continue. So the function is f of x equals to x squared plus bx plus c, where c is 0 for us. So f dash x is how much? f dash x is equal to 2ax plus b. What we are given is, at x equals to 2, that means at f dash 2, what should this be? 2 times a times 2 plus b. The value of dash 2 is 1, so we get 1 equals to 4a plus b. So we get another equation. Let's call this equation number 4. Now as you can see, equation 3 and 4 have two, two variables each. We can solve them simultaneously, right, and get our answer. So we have 5a plus b equals to 0 and 4a plus b equals to 1. So what we will do now is we'll do equation 3 minus equation 4. So if we do equation 3 minus 4, 5a minus 4a will give us a and b minus b is 0 and 0 minus 1 gives us minus 1. So we get the value of a as minus 1. So a is minus 1 for us. And if I substitute a as minus 1, I can find the value of b from 
any of these equations. So let me use equation 4 to find value of b. So if a is minus 1, what is b equals to? b is equals to 1 minus 4a. Eh? So let me rewrite this equation as or let me substitute minus 1 in equation 4. Okay, let's do it like that. So this is equation, let me know, because I'm running out of space, so, okay, doesn't matter. So we'll write A as minus 1 here, so we get 1 equals to minus 4 plus B, and that gives us value of B as equals to 1 plus 4, which is 5, correct. So that is our equation number 6. So we have now values of a, b and c. So we can write down our equation which is f of x equals to a is minus 1. So minus x squared b is 5 plus 5x. So that is our answer, correct? That gives us the answer. And that really means that we found a as equals to minus 1 and b equals to 5 and c equals to 0. So that is how we can solve this question, right? Have a close look at it. So the strategy here is that we are given three different conditions. From those three conditions, write down three equations very clearly. And they should help you to solve the three unknowns. Solve them, check your answer. To check your answer, you can always plug in the value 0 here to find the x-intercept. Well, that is 0. And if you plug in 5, 5 squared is 25, minus 25 plus 25 is 0, so that's correct. And the derivative also satisfies the same condition. At x equals to 2, the derivative, you can just plug in the value and check if you put a as minus 1 and b. So that is how you can actually check also your answer. So I hope that makes things very clear. We'll have one more example on a similar basis and then move on to different kinds. Thank you and all the best.